This learning object is a production of Abu Dhabi Men's College, Center of Excellence for ICT and Learning Technology. In today's session, we're going to speak about hard disks. That is the main storage device in your computer. I'm gonna show you how you can troubleshoot your hard disks in order to make it look faster and better. And eventually at the end, I'm gonna walk you through the steps of restoring a lost file or folders from a crashed hard disk. As you can see here, this is a closed hard disk. Once we open it in this way, we have to make sure that no air or dust will enter into the inside. Once you open the cover of your hard disk, you are facing a big possibility of losing your data and thus ruining your hard disk forever. Anyway, this is an open hard disk. This one, we call it the head, and these are the uh, tracks and sectors where all the data are being stored. This is an actual hard disk that is connected to electricity running right now. When the electricity comes into the hard disk, as you can see, it starts reading the operating system uh, files. And if we want to talk a little bit about hard disks, a hard disk is a really a set of stacked disks, as you can see here, uh, that look like a phonograph records. It has data uh, recorded electromagnetically in a concentric cycles or tracks. A track is divided into a small unit called sectors. Uh, the head, which is right here, moves through an arm, read or write the information on the tracks. The disk will spin, and the arm will move right and left, and the head will read or write. Uh, a normal hard disk rotation speed average between 4,500 to 7,200 round per minute. And disk access time, actually we measure it in milliseconds. Hard disk comes in many sizes, ranging from 40 giga up to 1,000 of teras. At this point, I'm going to walk you through the steps in order to make your hard disk perform better and work faster. Uh, in order to make your hard disk go better, you have to understand that there are two uh, major aspects. The first one is the physical part, and the second one is the software. At the beginning, in the physical part, you have to make sure first not to overexpose your laptop, thus your hard disk, to high temperature. For example, leaving, it, leaving your laptop in your car or in locked places. The second part is you should not expose your hard disk to any electrical field or electromagnetic field because that will ruin the information inside the hard disk. And the third aspect is you should not shake your, uh, hard, uh, your hard disk, and of course this goes with your laptop. So if you, in the software part of protecting and making your la uh, hard disk work better, you should actually do a couple of things. First of all, you should regularly defragment your hard disk. And at the same time, you should use disk cleanup in order to delete all the unwanted files. And at the same time, as well, you should uh, use the uninstall option from the control panel in order to delete any unwanted programs that you installed. The cleanup software, you go to the start, you go to programs, and then you go to the accessories, you click on the accessories, and you go to the system tools, which is down here, and then you go to the cleanup, disk cleanup, and this is, and then you specify the files on the C or on the D, and then the computer will take a bit in order to gather all the information about your drive, and then from there you should always do this to delete all the unwanted files. It gives you a list where you choose among, and then you say OK. Once you say OK, you make sure that you are deleting files, and this is how it goes. Be done 
every couple of uh, weeks and it helps the files on the hard disk to be stored uh, correctly and in order. At the same time, you go to the start programs and then you go to the defragment option and then it will start loading as you can see and you say defragment now. Once you start defragmenting, the files, it might take a few minutes to a few hours, but then all the files will be stored in a chronological order that is correct. Install any unwanted program, you have to go to the start, and then you go to the control panel, your control panel, and then you go to the program and features, you double click there, and this is the proper way to uninstall any program. You should not just delete it. You click on it, and then you select the uninstall slash change, and from there, you will be walked through a dialogue in order to uninstall your program efficiently. Let's suppose that you have deleted an important file from your hard disk, or this file, let's say your hard disk crashed and you lost this file. My question is, can you actually retrieve that file or folder? Before answering this question, let me just walk you through the idea of how the hard disk stores information on its sectors. All the information are stored using electromagnetic field, and that is electricity of the form of 5 volts or 0 volts. And when the file is uh, deleted, actually you can still find traces of this electricity on the sectors of the hard disk. That's why uh, programs such as OnTrack can take advantage of that traces of electricity and can rebuild your files and restructure it even if it was deleted years ago. For your hard disk get ruined and crashed, then you can use the easy recovery software or any similar software. This in this example, I'm using OnTrack, as you can see right here. You the data recovery option, and then you choose either the advanced recovery to control your recovery, or if you, you have formatted your hard disk, you want to recover some files. If something got deleted by mistakes, you can click here, or raw recovery that covers everything. In this example, I use the raw recovery, I choose which drive I want to recover files from. I choose it, select it, and then I will go to the next, and here it goes, magic in the process. This, it will show me the time. This is the remaining time, how many directories have been recovered, and the file found already are 53 and going on. You leave it for a couple of minutes or a couple of hours, and you are done. For my question, yes, definitely you can retrieve all files and folders even if they were years deleted previously.